We are making a drink today, and I have my friend Eric here with me. And he actually sent me this drink and said, this looks really good. Um, so, you know, I said, come fill the damn thing with me. There we go. Absolutely. You know, so this one actually is using Old Smoky Moonshine, not Old Smoky, O-L-E, Smoky Moonshine. And uh, you actually were at the distillery, right? Absolutely. Down in uh, Tennessee, uh, they have a tasting. So, you know, they have, I don't know, 10, 12 uh, flavors. And this by far is my favorite. So I saw this and said, Eric, you have to try this. Good so, shit. Yeah. Yes. So, and yeah, I mean, I looking at it, and I, I've never had this before, so I'm going to taste it myself here. Um, Old Smoky, this is a 40 proof moonshine so it's proof down to a it's pretty, blackberry yeah it's blackberry thanks i forgot to mention yes <laughs> <laughs> that's why the color is like it is of course uh but yeah basically it's a corn whiskey a white corn whiskey with some flavoring in it and uh, that's what we got going on here uh, it's proof down to a pretty decent level uh, it's not bad by itself right it's good right, by itself right I mean, so this is just kind of going to be one of those backyard uh, type drinks, hopefully. So, yeah, let's make it. All right. And I like the fact that it's not like a fake blackberry flavor. It's a real blackberry. Flavor. It is. It's it's more natural. You don't get that artificially. Right. Like, you eat some kind of blackberry soda or yes. candy. Uh, so, yeah. Now, the original recipe we had actually called for a peppermint... Was it peppermint whiskey or something? Moonshine. Peppermint moonshine. Yes. Which I kind of thought would be a little gross. So I adjusted it a little bit. Uh, what we're going to do is actually use real mint in this case. Real mint. And a lot of times what you'll do with that mint is you'll put the leaves in your hand. Just four or five leaves is good enough. And you just kind of want to smack them a little bit. Smack them up. Smack it. Smack them up, yeah. <laughs> And uh, put them in there. I'm just going to use the back of my muddler and just kind of gently muddle that. You don't want to muddle it to where it's falling apart, but just you can hear some of the juices coming out when you do that. And uh, that's to get it going. So once we got that in there, I'm going to take the moonshine. These are not the best for pouring, but. <laughs> You know, we'll do what we got to do here, but uh, it's going to be an ounce and a half of the Blackberry Moonshine in the tin. I can smell the mint. Ooh, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. That mint's fresh, and, I, yep. and that's why I chose fresh, you know, because you get that, that great smell and all of that. So then we're going to put in and add actually three ounces of lemonade into the mix. Freshly squeezed lemonade. That's right, it's homemade and I'm the hoe. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we're gonna throw some ice in this and break it up. Nice little scoop of ice. I'm gonna give it a shake till it gets cold on the outside. Trying to do that. Now that's a shake right there. That's how you shake it. <laughs> and I have to say, I appreciate you wearing the same color shirt as me so we match. Absolutely. We're, we're teammates here today. This, it wasn't on purpose, so. <laughs> it wasn't. He got out of the car and we're just like, hey. So, yeah, perfect. And, you know, shit, what am I doing? Got to ice the glass. Okay. Some more ice into a highball glass. I'm just going to pour this off. Look at that. That looks refreshing. It does. This looks like something you would, uh, you know, after you mow the lawn or something. Yeah. So just a little gap in the top there. Not much. Just a squirt of club soda, which I've already opened because this stuff's like a hand grenade or something. I swear. Just a nice little top. Nice. Yeah. So typically, you want to, if you want to get fancy, you take some mint, kind of wake it up a little bit. And I'm not real 
super pleased with my mint selection no. here. Bad. It's not your fault though. No. But it looks good. You yes. Know, I'll take it. And then uh, fresh blackberries. Yeah, a couple little berries on the top. And uh, that is how you make the drink. What was, it? what was the name of the drink anyway? I believe it was just called Blackberry Mint Lemonade. Blackberry Mint Lemonade. With Moonshine. Old Smoky. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a try and see, right. see what you think well, of it. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Good shit. That could be trouble. I mean, yeah. that's on a day like today, it's 90 degrees outside. Yeah. I mean, you come in and you have, I don't know, seven or eight of those, you'll be good. But that's, I mean, that's a good cocktail. That's good stuff. And yes. you know what? Labor Day's coming up. This would be something potentially you could batch up. Sorry, I'm going to have another step. <laughs> Yeah, this would be an easy batch up, and you don't have to make fresh lemonade like I did, but if you want to, I'll put the uh, recipe down there for how I did it. Really easy. It's just lemon juice, simple syrup, and some water to dilute it, but uh, it would, you'd be doing the same thing. Just batch it, buy a bottle of that, put in some lemonade, a little water to dilute instead of doing the shake. Uh, fantastic, And it's, though. it's not overpowering either. I mean, it's something that... As I said, you can sit by the pool or just sit outside and enjoy one of those. There's a little in here. Yeah. There you go. I would normally just drink it right from the glass, but you know, everyone's freaking out over COVID. I don't think you have COVID though. I don't I think so. I didn't temperature check them when you come <laughs> in, but I think we're okay. But yeah, this is, I mean, as hot as it is, a light refreshing one yeah. is perfect. Oh yeah, that's that's damn yeah, good. Yeah, that's that's damn good. <laughs> I mean, that's and the proof on it's not high because it's got an ounce and a half of this, which is forty proof. So you're not going to get that strong alcohol flavor from it. So this is something that's smooth, easy going if that's what you're into. Uh, but really, really good stuff. And I asked you earlier about if this could be blended into a frozen uh, cocktail as well. Yeah, and I think it could. I think you could if you would just put some of the mint in there in the blender with the with the berries <laughs> um, and about a cup of ice. It would probably be pretty decent. You're going to get those fine mint pieces, which I'm fine with. Yeah. Uh, if you're not fine with that and you want to double strain the drink, you can do that as well. But I think it gives a little character to have those little pieces. You just got to make sure you don't have any stuck in your teeth when you're going somewhere important. Oh, wow. But you know what? If you're drinking these, why are you going somewhere important right. anyways? Just stay there and drink them. I don't have anything important. So. Exactly. <laughs> this is the most important thing today. So um, the other thing is, um, I did buy some sweet tea as well. That yeah. we were thinking about maybe doing this instead of lemonade, sweet tea. So yeah, you could either do an ounce and a half for the sweet tea and the lemonade both, or you can just do all of yep. the sweet tea, and I think you'd have a Pretty good result. Well, Either we way. have all day, so uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> we're we're gonna get to that and start making more drinks. But uh, in the meantime, if you want to see me go on a journey here to make a hundred cocktails this year, you can hit subscribe down below. There's a bell icon. You're not gonna miss anything that I post in the future. But for now, I want to thank thanks for being here. Thanks for suggesting thank that. Thank you. It's a pleasure. That is awesome. So, yeah, absolutely. And as I always say, let's see if I can get more out of this. Yeah. As I always say in the close, if this idiot can do it, then so can you. Cheers.